Hey, welcome back to Aaron Reacts. And look, this is a continuation of the tale of Jenny and Screech and Violet. And I did the full reaction. Go ahead and check that out. But there's more I wanted to say. I had a hard time sleeping. I've been thinking about it. Things are percolating in my mind. There's so much going on that I wanted to share some additional information. So this is more of an analysis than anything. It's a follow-up, a continuation, right? I probably won't be playing maybe any, but certainly not much video if I do. Uh, we're going to be talking about the things that I, I've been thinking about further and kind of the full storyline and so forth. So um, anyway, the, the thing that kept the one of the many things, but one of the main things that kept um, racing through my brain and I didn't give it a ton of thought at the time. Maybe I didn't fully understand it, but it's that lyric, a tragedy or a miracle. Right. And and I do have uh, the lyrics up here, so I'm going to look at that. But the, the full thing is in London City, far from pretty. 2005 a lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive a tragedy or a miracle and here we're talking about Violet at the end of her life but they're referring back to Jenny right back in the video but it's actually forward in time right and ultimately uh, a tragedy or a miracle well obviously it's a tragedy that she lost her life and that things ended that way and that she was a victim of violence and so forth but it's a miracle because Violet, even though she suffered, was able to give birth to these twins and they were able to live their life, right? And so it's both a tragedy and a miracle. Um, and, you know, that's just, it's really deep when you think about it that way, right? But the biggest thing I really wanted to comment on is just how much everything's interplayed and, and uh, interwoven and, you know, the connection. Um, I think that's a, such an important point because, right, um, I did talk a little bit about this cycle, but now I was thinking it through further, right? The impact of the actions in the lives is so huge, right? There's this nature versus nurture battle and the concept of our environments, but also, you know, DNA and so forth, biological uh, inheritance and, and genes and so forth. Uh, but the environment makes such a difference, right? And here, Violet grew up with violence. Um, and I'm sure that that's probably not a mistake that he's chosen that character's name um, because it just fits so well. It sings well and it's easy to kind of associate there too. I even made the mistake in my video of saying Violet begets Violet instead of violence begets violence, right? Uh, but anyway, you know, as a child, she was beaten and abused and we assume sexually abused, right? And... Um, we don't know if the story starts before then, but it absolutely could because we don't know what her father went through that triggered or caused him to be violent, right? Um, but we do know that she was silent and she accepted this type of behavior and perhaps maybe even sought out, unconscious, subconsciously, of course, sought out the type of companion that then turned out to beat her as well right, that ended her life, essentially, um, and, you know, we don't know necessarily if that person was the father or not, but, I mean, we can, we can make uh, an assumption that they were, um, and um, since they were twins, we now know that she was also 14, which I don't think we had that information before, um, originally, when we were hearing the story of Jenny. Um, I could double check, but I don't think that was the case, but now we know she was 14, so either, you know, she really did start early, um, you know, she was raped and it could be her father's kids, so it, it gets even more messed up, or it could be her, you know, lover, um, and um, I'm blanking on the, the, the person's name, to be honest, but, um, you know, the one that, that the punched her in, in the throat and was beat her and stuff, it could be that person's, um, the, that could be the father, right? Um, or it could be somebody else. We, I, I don't think we really know, but either way, she's just around and, and known, you know, this type of environment. And it's really sad because that's the life that she's known. And, you know, I think in some of the melody and the lyricism of what he sings, he's, 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 he's you know, demonstrating, you know, she's a beautiful person inside, despite all of this. But there's so much turmoil and so much complexity, and she's lived such a tough battle herself growing up and dealing with this, right? And, 
you know, even if I, I mentioned, you know, I don't know if genes play a part because, you know, we were talking about the silence, but um, let's, let's for a moment put the genes aside and just talk surely, uh, purely, um, you know, nature. And, you know, these twins were born probably um, ultimately separated at birth into, you know, some kind of foster care and, and, and so forth, um, you know, or adopted. And, um, you know, they grew lives separate. Screech didn't know Jenny, right? Listen, bitch, <laughs> right? Um, so ultimately, he ends up killing his sister. Like, that's just messed up on so many levels, right? He didn't know. Um, but his violence is probably the result of his upbringing in the system he was in um, and may have, you know, gone through multiple foster parents or, you know, an abusive house or otherwise. But, you know, he didn't land well in terms of his nature, his environment. And that's directly influenced who he is. Right. And, and this is this is certainly implied in terms of the lyrics. Because um, it talked about, you know, uh, he's he's never been one to turn down a fight. And then it also talked about the devil possessed his soul or something to that effect. What was that? Okay, here we go. The devil had set his sights on his soul. In other words, it was almost like it was out of control that, you know, he was going to go down this path. Right? And, uh, you know, it's so unfortunate because 14, all of this happened. And another victim of, you know, the system essentially... And, and again, you know, he could just, could, could just have been a bad person, but, you know, nature is, is at play as well, right? And, um, you know, it was complicated regardless. And then similarly, you know, Jenny also has grown up, you know, with, with uh, some kind of situation that we don't really know, but could have been, you know, tumultuous and so forth. And it could have also force that repression and that, you know, silence in her and that response that ultimately led to her death. So now the cyclical cycle of all this interweaving that all started, right? It all started with, you know, um, that abuse at home with multiple people. And again, going back to that officer, who knows now what effect that could stem and branch into thousands of people that that one decision at home to abuse their kid, right? Or maybe it wasn't a decision, maybe there was mental illness or whatever. We don't know the specifics of that, but that was the triggering event for all of this. That there's so much going on there. It's, it's insane. Yeah, and the music throughout, like you, there are very few points where you know, he sings or the melody, the music um, is just clean, um, you know, unsullied. Um, uh, you know, uh, it, there's always some level of complexity with it. Um, there's always some kind of um, additional layers, uh, right? So, um, you know, that's all intentional, of course. And I think that it's required in this situation. But let's talk about, uh, and, I, and I'll wrap up after this, because I think it's important, right? Um, this is my last point I want to make, or last discussion point, right? Discussion topic is, you know, what are the lessons from this? And to me, it's just how much of an impact, you know, every decision you make can have, especially in other people. And that, you know, there, there are things that sometimes are out of control, um, you know, that may impact those decisions you make and what you do may impact others and that they may not have control into what happens as a result of those. And ultimately things can all lead back to you or others. And, and there's so much connected, right? Um, I've always wondered how um, little small decisions would make differences in our lives, right? I met my wife on the dance floor. What would have happened had I not gone out dancing that night? right? Which could have started with, you know, a car accident, um, which might have even been minor. It could have started with a car accident that didn't even affect me, but caused traffic that rerouted things. And then I got, you know, I 
the, the, the situation changed. And that car accident could have been caused by, you know, um, you know, somebody spilling water on themselves that could be, you know, because of some, you know, some uh, innocent thing of, you know, they pulled a bottle, um, you know, to drink the bottle and um, they thought the lid was already off, but it wasn't. And it, right, like all of this, it's 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 madness when you actually think about you know this. Let alone you know the conscious decisions that we make, um, how much power we have in those, right? But sometimes there's ex external factors that can control the situation, and both are at play. Um, but again, the the fight the forces of evil. Going back to High Ren, um, good versus evil. Um, at some point. Somebody here through this vicious cycle, that police officer, perhaps in the end, right? Um, screech, making the conscious decision. Um, okay, I need to, I need to settle down. I need to stop. I know that you know Patrick is not answering the door. I know that my babe is not answering the phone. Um, but things just got way too heated. Um, you know, what what do I need to do here? Right, settling down or screech you know ultimately you know deciding okay why is she not responding to me um okay i need to i need to you know i, I need to remedy the situation like i don't want this to go the wrong way or even jenny hearing that those ominous thoughts or having them right that something is awkward or something's not right and you know maybe going a different direction or um i don't know how to respond necessarily in that situation. Um, but, you know, maybe not do what you normally would have done. And, and again, going back to, I don't think you should live your life in panic. But, you know, all of these things leading up to one another, um, it's almost like a, in some ways, perfect storyline of everything being in interconnected. But it truly is kind of a, a Shakespearean tragedy. Um, I don't know how else to end this other than again saying amazing. Um, so much going on to play. I hope I didn't, you know, just rant at infinitum, but these are things I wanted to say. So I thank you. And uh, again, subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll see you in the next one.